and welcome back. Um, I got to grab my other remote before I even do this. Um, hope you guys are appreciating some of these new videos, some of these new uh, features that are coming out with the Fire Cube. Some crazy and amazing stuff here. Um, here it is. Here is the new Fire TV Cube remote. And then here is the new Fire TV stick remote that came earlier this year. So slightly different and we're going to go through. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. Make sure you guys do leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have tried out the new Fire TV Cube. Um, pretty good and amazing that this thing works solid. So we're going to do a quick comparison of the two remotes. So as you can see here, um, you do have everything on the top is the same. You do have your back home, your settings button there. You have your all the buttons here with a pause, play, forward, all that. It's the same same buttons here at the bottom. The only thing that changed here is they did have a up down, where they didn't have it before. They just had a, a volume. Now they have volume and up down. Um, they kind of relocated your mute button to the side and the TV button in the middle, and then they added a looks like a picture in picture and a settings button here on the new Fire TV remote. So let's go ahead and see exactly what this is. And there's a newer remote that's going to be coming out pretty soon, too. So make sure you guys do, do look out for that. So when I do click on that TV remote, it's going to open up Pluto, I believe. So there it is. It, it gives you Pluto. If you do click on the up-down volume, that's good. Um, and then this one, you can control the channels. Now, if I do click on that gear icon, this is what happens. Remember how you used to hold that home button? You used to hold the home button for like about three seconds and then you get this. So now, right here with this little gear icon, if you click on this, it automatically pulls out your profile, your app, sleep, mirroring, and a shortcut to settings. Now, what is settings? If you guys don't know, that's what your settings thing is. So they kind of move the, the, the icon there. Instead of clicking all the way to the right to your settings here, they kind of just gave you that little shortcut right there, which is not bad. Now, this one where it looks like a little picture in picture, the little button right there just looks like a picture in picture. Anything with your recent your recent apps, that's where it's going to be. Um, now, the new Fire TV Cube, I did download Ida64. As you can see here, it says Ida64, but the picture looks broken. Looks like we're back to that whole mess. So I'm sure they're going to do some kind of updates, some kind of fix for that one. So, um, yeah, pretty neat. Now, if you do come here to that picture in picture again where you could see your recent stuff, um, you could go to your hamburger button right there where it says press the hamburger button to manage. So that's pretty much it with the picture and picture thing does. Now, of course, um, you have your other buttons here, your Amazon, Netflix, and all that stuff. If I do click any of that stuff, we'll just do Prime Video. Second I click it, boom, that thing works extremely fast. Um, if I click the back button, it will exit. If I do Disney Plus, there it is right there. It's extremely, really fast. So this remote actually works pretty pretty good i'm actually very very happy how it works i can't wait for the pro version to come out the pro version you should be able to do some of the extra um you could you could just map a certain app and that's the app that it will open which is pretty nice i'm curious to see if it's going to map the steps or if it's just going to save that one app that i just opened up as a shortcut which will be very very nice i believe you still can remap some of the other buttons there so this video is not for that but um yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new remote. It, it it is it is definitely a little longer than the older one, and they just continue to get longer and longer and longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. There is the brand new, and here, well, they're both brand new. The new Fire Stick, um, and earlier this year, and then the new Fire TV Q that just come out came out towards the end of the year. So yeah, pretty good. Let me know what you guys think some great products right here and yeah with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other and we'll see you guys in the next one take care guys